ටවුන් එකේ විශංකයා එකට ගියා නම් ඉවරයි නේ විශංකයා විශ්වාසනීය දැක්ම arguably the two key components of the extended fund facility program are one revenue enhancement based fiscal consolidation and two and building net international reserves now what we must remember is that whether or not there is an IMF program these are things we have to do for ourselves you know people keep saying that the IMF is imposing this on us and imposing that on us we have to have a revenue enhancement based fiscal consolidation program you saw the graph we have to build up our net international reserve we allowed our debt to pile up and we allowed exports to come down it's okay if you borrow money and you put it into projects that go into developing tradables that develop exports or import competing goods and services i e earn or save for an exchange but instead we built up this commercial debt and put it into non tradables and the rates of return on those projects were also extremely low if you listen to the rhetoric and the narrative in sri lanka and you think that the imf was around picking on countries well actually we went there because we got ourselves into a mess i i don't think we have anybody but ourselves to blame and you know if you get you get into the the clause of the imf because you've mismanaged things so we have to manage things better and let me also say this now that we've got ourselves into the position we have got in terms of our external debt dynamics in terms of the tremendous reliance we have in terms of investor confidence particularly foreign investor confidence we need them to buy our bonds to finance our external financing needs we need them to come in with fdi to build up our exports so that we can have sufficient foreign exchange earnings to service our debts and to support the level of imports that we need so it, foreign investor confidence is extremely important for us having got ourselves into the twin deficit category if you don't have the imf good housekeeping seal we are going to have serious difficulty in getting the financing that we need so we have to do these reforms for ourselves but right now we have got ourselves into a position where an IMF program is necessary and the IMF programs don't doesn't come without conditionality because they give us uncollateralized money and essentially what they do is they ask for reforms which ensures sufficient creditworthiness to pay back the money borrowed from them that is basically the equation